Hey guys, it's Lauren here. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe, like, and comment down below. Um, today we are going to be showing you how to make this awesome air dry, stretchy play doh. All you will need for this video is flour, salt, water, and um, food coloring is optional. I'm going to use puffy paint and water. That's what I already used, and it'll so pink and pretty. The last one was red. So I'm gonna put this up. And I already got it going on. But yeah. So I'm gonna tell you how to do it. You're gonna add some two bowls, a, sh a mixing tool. Um. Put some water in one bowl and puffy paint in the bowl with the water and then add flour and salt into the other bowl and mix them up really well and then put your water and paint mixture into the um, bowl and then mix them up. If it's still really wet, you add more flour, no salt, okay? So I'm mixing it up and it's really cute pink. But it's gonna turn out really more pink whenever it's done. Whenever I start kneading it with my hands. Um, it's getting to the really good consistency I want. And yeah. But I'm using a fork bowl because I don't want my bowls getting dirty. Um I'm gonna add a little more, little more flour. Make sure you're wearing clothes that you don't mind getting dirty or else they will get dirty and your parents will not like that. Maybe neither will you. But yeah. Yeah. So I just added um, some flour. It's a really cute consistency. I mean, it's a really cute pink that I really like. You're gonna keep mixing until it stops sticking to the spoon or mixing tool and the bowl. But make sure um, it gets to the consistency you want first. I'm gonna start kneading with this my hand, but this part only. But you will need to. Mix it on a surface and make sure the surface has some flour on it and spread the flour out. But, um, first I'm going to add some flour to the surface. Only a little, like a teaspoon. And mix that up. So yeah, and now I'm going to roll that up into the flour on the surface. And this is like super soft, you guys. I love this. Um, yeah. It's super good and super, super pink. But you got to put it in a container so it will not dry up because you know it's air dry and you I added um puffy paint maybe you didn't but you still need to put it in a container it will air dry because it's air dry but yeah oh yeah you have to add the puffy paint into the water first and then add it to the mixture whenever the salt and the flour mixture so because whenever it's white do not add the puffy paint in with the water because it will not be good so. i just keep kneading it and kneading it and kneading it it's super soft here's my kitty witty come here baby he's like am i lost ow 
I just stepped on something really sharp and it really hurt. Like I stepped on a stapler. Um, McKinney. Come here, Luna. His name's not Luna. I promise. His name is Winchester, but I just called her Mana. I don't know why I just called her Mana. But yeah. This is the Play-Doh. It may be lumpy at first, but if you keep like playing with it, it will not be lumpy. I'm gonna keep kneading this in my hands. Add a little more flour. And mix. And yeah, here is your pink Play-Doh. And you are done. I think the red one was better because I actually added real. I actually added real food coloring, not puppy paint. So yeah. Yeah. Um. The puppy paint did work though, but not as good. And I'm gonna mix up the. Regular mixture. You can see that it's really, really flowery, but it may look really dry. It's actually really, really wet. And it will get your hands dirty. So make sure you wash your hands up with this. This is my dad. Hey, dad. This is why I told you to have a flowery surface. But it will start to dry and it won't get on your hands. And you could just take it off with your hands. So do not throw this away. And if, um, you don't like getting your hands messy. This isn't the job for you. Okay, sorry. But if you added the food coloring then, it will get your hands messy. And you play with it. This is my daddy. Hi, daddy. Hi, baby. He's nice. But yeah. Caution, this will get stuck to your hands no matter what you do. Unless you add, like, so much flour on your surface, like, too much flour, it will not get on your hands. But that will be too much flour, and it will dry up way quick, quicklier. Um, even if you put it in a thing. So, yeah, and it will be useful. But this is pink, and I like it. And I like getting my hands messy. It's starting to get better, but yeah, this is why I told you to make sure your surface is so, like, make sure your surface is not your favorite surface. But I'm going to leave that in the bowl real quick. Get off my fingers. Huh. Ah! It's edible though. No, it's not as puffy paint in it but if you added food coloring it's totally edible just it'll be just really really salty so yeah if you added puffy paint like I did don't eat it it's not edible because puffy paint is not edible I'm gonna add more flour so wait looks slimy but yeah the red one is way better I prefer using real food coloring guys if you have any but it will still work if you add like um puppy paint just keep mixing And gonna add it to the bowl and to the 
the surface. Yeah. And your hands. Yeah, mommy, I'm making a pizza here. And then your it'll come off your hands. Make sure it comes off into the empty bowl. Play-Doh formed into my hand. See? This piece is good. I'm gonna go wash my hands! Yay! Sorry. So, bag, can you see my messy surface here? Yeah. But, I'm gonna keep mixing that. The flour you add, more better it is. Stay better. Make sure you put flour on the inside too. I don't know how that's possible, but make sure you do. That lined. I'm just poking it, guys. Okay. Get it to the point where you can touch it. Put it. Spread out the flour on the surface. Hands are clean now. Hands are clean now. But make sure you don't add puffy paint if you are making this for your child or someone under the age five because they can eat it and it's toxic. And I don't want your children dying. Now you're going to start mixing it on your surface. Um, you could mix it in a bowl with flour, but I prefer you not. Actually, I prefer you do. I'm going to go see how it works out. Hey, baby. So, I'm seeing how it works out. And I'm mixing it. Because I just dipped it in flour. And it's way better, guys. And way stretchy. Like the red one. Um, but it will start getting to the red one. If you keep finding it. Don't eat that, kitty. So, yeah. Um, like it. And this is how you make homemade Play-Doh. Thank you for watching. And please subscribe, like, and comment down below. Bye!